A torcida é ruim, fica em pé! Yeah, so 2023 uh, IBJJF Worlds uh, holds uh, second major at Brown Belt. Uh, so World Championships. Oh, yeah. Tournament specifically is uh, to show he's in the wrong division. Like he's, he wants to set a statement this tournament. Not that he can win Brown Belt Worlds, but people need to guess, like second guess what belt he's wearing. So that's the goal is for him to dominate. Two fights by submission, so now on to the quarterfinals.
part of the plan. Like you guys have been following us, and uh, it was a purple belt in the beginning of the year. I told you guys that he reached a level that I want uh, to to be in the brown belt, and uh, he's showing that he's close to the black belt. Uh, I want to keep him uh, at least until the end of the year to do uh, Novi Worlds as a brown belt. But uh, next year you guys are gonna see him uh, as a black belt at Worlds for sure. So he's one of the the people that have been there since he was uh, super young and like he's super attached to the whole group, like attached to me. And uh, it's always more special that way, you know. Like uh, we work together every day. Like we share like a. Uh, he shares like his dreams with me, and uh, I'm the one that will help and like give everything that I, I can to to make it happen. All of all of this is because of this guy right here. I wouldn't be where I am today without him. And it's a it's a dream come true. I mean, every year that I come to this competition, I remember the names like uh, Professor Ian Hoffa being in this same arena years ago when they were at the top of their division. And uh, man, it's an amazing feeling to, to to be here, to be in that same environment, and uh, make my dreams come true as well. I know that they were just young kids coming up with big dreams and big aspirations, and they let their work do the talking. Most of my fights were, were finished by submission. I think there's a, a few adjustments that I can make going back to the academy, but every competition I'm seeing, I'm getting closer to the level that I want to be, and uh, that's really just uh, the mindset going forward. So back to the academy now, back to looking at what the next challenge is, and then going to try to come with a, a, a new, different style. The, for the next competition. Happy. I, th I think like it's always amazing when uh, you plan something and you see it uh, like becoming like a, a reality, you know. And uh, I think Po is a great example for the next generation. Like we have a lot of kids here, my son, and like a lot of the kids that that are here from AOJ. A lot of the kids that he coaches in the academy too. And I think this is the most important for us. Like winning, like he, him building his career and winning and like uh, being successful is important. But like his legacy will be. Uh, I think uh, based on uh, everything that he's able to represent for this sport and uh, today he's a big influence in the academy for the new generation and uh, I think like we're going to continue to do that one day, like he's going to be taking my, my spot here and continuity. Yes, to your right. Now it's his turn. <laughs> yeah, when are we going to see Yeah, hey, there? Kids, man. He's going to compete in Houston in three weeks okay. and then Pan Kids. Yes. <laughs>